One thing a lot of us do not like to think about, really, the bacteria yeah. in our showers. Oof. I didn't want to think about it either, but we got to do <laughs> Haley's story this morning. It's a big problem that could have big effects on your health. It could. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with the hidden dangers we're talking about. Haley? You're saying ill. I know. You're, I know. Yeah. You're calling me Haley, but you mean Debbie Downer, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you get clean in the shower, but have you thought about how clean the things are inside there? Well, your shampoo bottle, your conditioner, your razor, all stuff that you use daily, but do you ever clean them? Bacteria can grow in your shower and then turn and then transfer that to your skin and then you're in trouble. Everyone's shower has something growing. The body scrub, I usually, I think I've had that for about a year. And we're the ones to blame. And then my razor, I just use till it starts to get dull, which is about a month for me. Dr. Sherry Ingraham of Advanced Dermatology says there's a hard and fast expiration date for items in the shower. Bacteria can lead to conditions of acne, folliculitis, and other skin infections. It's like a giant petri dish. So you really need to be aware of what's in there and keeping it clean and tossing things on a regular basis. The most frequently tossed tool should be your razor. After three uses, toss it. If you don't, it can grow bacteria. The same can be true with natural loofahs, the ones that look like a sponge. Toss them after three weeks. But if your loofah is synthetic, it can stick around longer than three weeks if, she says, you dry it out between uses. So what you should do is every time you use one, Keep it out of the shower, let it air dry. These are all new guidelines for guilty gals like Alexa. I feel like I should be getting rid of the products that create mold on the bottom um, and get a little, it looks like a little rusty, but I, I usually don't. But what she doesn't realize is that by the time this gunk starts to accumulate on your shampoos and conditioners, it's already been compromised. Sometimes you'll see green or dark coloration around the edge of a product. You can open it up and sometimes see even mold or bacteria growing in the lid of a product. So you know that that's the <laughs> obvious sign to throw it away, right? Well, here's something that could give you a little more confidence in your clean. One of Dr. Ingraham's favorite products on the market right now is a Clarisonic. She says these are designed to um, not have porous areas in them so you can, they can stay in the shower longer without growing bacteria. Mm, See, I've been debating on whether to buy one of those forever. Oh, I like them. I like them. I like them a That's lot. Yours? And now That's that I know, <laughs> actually, it is yes. <laughs> but I brought it in as a prompt because now knowing that you know it doesn't grow as much bacteria, I I feel better about using it and, and leaving, leaving it in, in the, the shower. shower. Exactly. Right. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Haley. That petri dish that you have at home. Oh boy. Yikes.